August 19 Job 29 1-30-31 Job further continued his discourse and said Oh that I were as in months past as in the days when God watched over me and his lamp shone upon my head and when by his light I walked through darkness just as I was in the days of my prime when the friendly counsel of God was over my tent when the Almighty was yet with me when my children were around me when my steps were bathed with cream and the rock poured out rivers of oil for me when I went out to the gate by the city when I took my seat in the open square the young men saw me and hid and the aged arose and stood the princes refrained from talking and put their hand on their mouth the voice of nobles was hushed and their tongue stuck for the roof or to the roof of their mouth when the ear heard then it blessed me and when the eye saw then it it approved me because i delivered the poor who cried out the fatherless and the one who had no helper the blessing of a perishing man came upon me and I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy. I put on righteousness, and it clothed me. My justice was like a robe and a turban. I was eye to the blind, and I was feet to the lame. I was a father to the poor, and I searched out for the case that I did not know. I broke the fangs of the wicked and plucked the victim from his teeth. Then I said, I shall die in my nest, multiply my days as a sand. My root is spread out to the waters, and the dew lies all night on my branch. My glory is fresh within me, and my bow is renewed in my hand. Men listened to me and waited and kept silence for my counsel. After my words, they did not speak again, and my speech settled on them as dew. They waited for me as for the rain. They opened their mouth wide as for the spring rain. If I mocked at them, they did not believe it, and the light of my countenance they did not cast down. I chose the way for them, and sat as chief, so I dwelt as a king in the army, as one who comforts mourners, but now they mock at me. Men younger than I, whose fathers I disdained to put with the dogs of my flock, indeed, what profit is the strength of their hands to me? Their vigor has perished they are gaunt from from want and famine fleeing late to the wilderness desolate and waste who pluck mallow by the bushes and broom tree roots for their food they were driven out from among men they shouted at them at as at a thief they had to live in the cliff, in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth and the rocks. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they nest, nestled. They were sons of fools, yes, sons of vile men. They were scourged from the land. And now I am their taunting song. Yes, I am their byword. They abhor me. They keep far from me. They do not hesitate to spit in my face. Because he has loosed my bowstring and afflicted me. They have cast off 
restraint before me. My right hand rubble arises. They push away my feet and they race against me their ways of destruction. They break up my path. They promote my calamity. They have no helper. They come as broad breakers under the ruinous, ruinous storm they roll along. Terrors have turned upon me. They pursue my honor as the wind, and my prosperity has passed like a cloud. And now my soul is poured out because of my plight. The days of affliction take hold of me. My bones are per are pierced in me at night, and my gnawing, my gnawing pains take no rest. By great force, my garment is disfigured. It binds me about as the collar of my coat. He has cast me into the mire, and I have become like dust and ashes. I cry out to you, but you do not answer me. I stand up and you regard me, but you have become cruel to me. With the strength of your hand, you pose me. You lift me up to the wind and cause me to ride on it. You spoil my success, for I know that you will bring me to death into the house appointed for all living. Surely, he would not stretch out his hand against a heap of ruins if they cry out when he destroys it. Have I not wept for him who was in trouble? Has not my soul grieved for the poor? For when I looked for good, evil came to me. And when I waited for light, became darkness. Then came darkness. My heart is in turmoil and cannot rest. Days of affliction confront me. I go about mourning but not in the sun. I stand up in the assembly and cry out for help. I am a brother of jackals and a companion to ostriches. My skin grows black and falls from me. My bones burn with, fe with fever. My heart is turned to mourning, and my flute to the voice of those who weep. Psalm 97, 7 to 12. Let all be put to shame who serve carved images, who boast of idols. Worship him, all your gods. Zion hears and is glad. And the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord, for you, Lord, are most high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. He who love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the land of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holy name. Proverbs 23, 15-16 My son, if your heart is wise, my heart will rejoice. Indeed, I myself, yes, my inmost being will rejoice. In your lips speak right things. First Corinthians one one to thirty one. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God and Sustenis our brother to the church of God which is in which is at Corinth to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus called to be saints with all who in every place call on the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. 
grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always concerning you for the grace of God which was given to you by Christ Jesus, that you were enriched enriched in everything by him in all utterance and all knowledge, even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that you come short in no gift, eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ, will also confirm you to the end that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful by whom you are called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it has been declared to me concerning you, my brethren, by those of Chloe's husband, or by those of Chloe's household, that there are contentions among you. Now I say this, that each of you says, I am Paul, or, or I am I am of Paul, or I am of Apollos, or I am of Cephas, or I am of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius, lest anyone should say that I have baptized in my own name. Yes. I also baptized the household of Siphanas. Besides, I do not know whether I baptized any other, for Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom or words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of no effect. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God, for it is written, I will, dis- I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through wisdom did not know God, It pleased God through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. For Jews request a sign, and Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified to the Jews a stumbling block, and to the Greeks foolishness. But but, But to those who are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty, and the base things of the world and the things which are despised, God has chosen, and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things are not, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption, that, as it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord.
to Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus and Holy Spirit, oh God, for your goodness and faithfulness in my life, Lord. Thank you, God, for your word, Lord, and your word is true. Bless the outgoing of your word, O oh God. Bless every heart who are willing to listen to your word, O oh God. Hallelujah. I believe, God, your word is powerful, Lord, and it will never return void, O oh God. Thank you, God, for everything you've done, the gift of salvation. Thank you for granting the desires of my heart, O oh Lord. According to your will, the will be done in my life, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for being with me at all times. Thank you for the divine protection, Lord, and provision, O oh God. Hallelujah. I pray, God, for salvation, O oh Lord, restoration, breakthrough, guidance. Good health, divine protection, O oh God, in the lives of my whole family, Lord, my brothers, father, and father, Matthew and his family, my cousins, uncle, and so on. Hallelujah. Draws closer to you, God. Embrace us all, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen.